RC was stationed at the Autobot base with the other Autobots when William Fowler arrived and briefed the group on Silas's current activities. After briefly expressing similar concerns with Bumblebee, she expressed her previous thoughts to Fowler, of which were beliefs that Silas had died. Following Jack's expressing that the Human and Cybertronian Alliance worked for the Autobots and their allies, RC claimed that it only did most of the time. RC departed to Colorado with Optimus and the other Autobots to secure the command center. However, the group was met with heavy firepower from a multitude of vehicons. After taking cover near Bumblebee, she and the others made their way closer to the command center after Optimus stated the importance of reaching it. After doing so, RC and the others were attacked by a large ray beam, of which was commanded by Soundwave. After Optimus told the Autobots to keep the beam preoccupied from their human allies, RC expressed her belief that doing so would not be of much difficulty before driving off with the other Autobots, in order to avoid being hit by the beam. Following Jack being chosen by Optimus Prime to assist Smokescreen in becoming used to Earth Customs, RC expressed her concern to her leader, being that Smokescreen chose an alternate mode that warranted great interest from others and thus, would endanger Jack in the process. After Jack and Smokescreen returned from their initial drive together, Jack showed RC a picture of Vince's car, whom she identified as the bully. After being unimpressed by their exploits together, RC went with the other Autobots to the first supposed signal of the Star Saber. As the group continued their search for the relic, they realized they had been lead by a trick of sound waves and quickly went to the real location of the relic, where Smokescreen and Jack had gone. There, she saved Jack from an Insecticon and fought off several Viacons. After doing so, she and the other Autobots yelled to Optimus to get out of the way before a boulder was set to crush him and was impressed when Optimus split the boulder with the newly acquired Star Saber in hand. After returning to the Autobot base, RC wasted no time in beginning to talk to Smokescreen. After Jack tried to interfere, RC told her human ally that the two would talk later and ordered Ratchet to send the boy home. After Jack left, RC claimed to Smokescreen that the Autobots had been in need of another warrior, as opposed to another child. When Optimus learned about the Omega Keys, from Alpha Trion's message in the Star Saber, the Autobots were excited to hear about going home. RC made a reference on how they used to soak in oil baths. She was looking forward to that the most. Though they realized that returning to their home means leaving their friends behind. Ratchet told them that they could always text them. RC went with Smokescreen to get one of the Omega Keys, but they were attacked by Megatron. Megatron told RC to send a message to Optimus about dueling him with his saber. RC returns to base telling the others of Smokescreen's supposed demise. Enraged by this, Bulkhead and Bumblebee wanted to go after Megatron, but Optimus didn't want to risk any more lives. Optimus bravely went to face Megatron head on. They battled and Optimus' sword broke in the process. Smokescreen makes a surprise appearance with the Omega Key in his hand. Smokescreen saves Optimus and they retreat back to base. Smokescreen explained that he survived the blast, via the phase shifter. Ratchet told them that even though Optimus wielded the power of the Ancients for one day, he does not require it to be the strongest of warriors.